Hello viewers, in this video I'll be going over natural gas, ETF ticker symbol UNG. Today we are up around 2.4% on the 1 hour chart. We are currently at positive MACD and the 1 hour RSI is currently overbought. As for the 4 hour chart, we have not approached overbought RSI yet and we started to turn positive on the MACD. And we start to see a convergence on the 9 and 18 moving average. As for the daily chart, we start to see a possible convergence shaping and we also we will most likely close above the 18 day moving average today and that's a positive sign. We also filled in some gaps made between December 6th and December 9th. So we have that done. If this is a reversal in play, it does look it's in formation. As of now, we do see a possible resistance at the 18-day moving average, which is around a price of $18.60. And one can say that there was support around this price between December 3rd and December 5th, and that also coincides with the 18-day moving average resistance. And as for support, there is possible support around the price of $70.75 70, or $0.70. Cents reason why we do have a gap up overnight from December 13 to December 16. If this uptrend were to completely reverse, we would like to fill in empty gaps overnight and proceed to move on higher. So at the moment, if we were to move on, move up higher, that price movement is roughly around 2.4% and to the downside, it is around 2.3% to the downside. So the forecast model is now available in the link below. So do check it out for natural gas. If you configure the settings for UNG, we also have UGAS and DGAS, and you'll get the results. And we finally now have the day by day probability. So do check that out. So the forecast model right here, we'll go day by day where natural gas will head to the next coming days. So we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend. Right here, we have the current trend, and below is the trend that I believe is the best match. This trend dates back to May 6, 2014 to July 31st, 2014. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have here and on the current trend, we start off touching the upper Bollinger Band, and then we proceeded to break down to touch the bottom Bollinger Band right here. After touching the bottom Bollinger Band, we made a nice reversal to temporarily touch the upper Bollinger Band for several days. And then we proceeded to break down and touch the bottom Bollinger Band once more. So we have those price movement right there. And we make a slight attempt on reverting to the mean on the middle Bollinger Band right towards the end. So let's compare the trend in question. So what we have here in the beginning, we start off up at the middle Bollinger Band as well. And then we proceeded to break down, touch the bottom Bollinger Band. After touching the bottom Bollinger Band, we made a nice attempt to reverse the trend. However, it failed and to break above and maintain the upper Bollinger Band and then proceeded to break down. And then right towards the end as well, we see a slight reversion to the mean to the middle Bollinger Band as well. So we have those points. We have about one, two, three, four points. We also have one, two, three, four points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was May 6 to July 31st, 2014. Back then, natural gas was up around 3.7%. Looks like we may reach above the 18 day moving average resistance and maintain to the upside. So let's head to the day by day probability of natural gas. What we have here, we have non distinguishable or noticeable changes. It's still concentrated in between the 7% to the downside and 7% to the upside. We see no extreme cases where we see down 15 or 20% or even up 15 or 
we do see a slight chance in favor of downside as at the end or at the end of the week in day seven higher probability to the downside compared to total 33 percent to the upside between seven seven percent and fourteen percent so there is some possibility we may head higher overall because of the trend that I compared to so this 2014 trend was the best match compared to all the other trends so do take that as a grain of salt and again this forecast model is now available in the link below so do check it out if you enjoy this content feel free to like comment subscribe and thank you for watching